Hi, it's Dania and today I'm going to be talking about all of the business adventures that have failed that I tried to pursue whether it was my clothing line, e-commerce dropshipping or random photography. There's so many things that I've been through so today I'm going to share them all with you and let you know that you don't have to succeed in your first try. You have to go through so many failures and hurdles to get to that finish point that you're waiting for. So I'm hoping to share my story so I can inspire you guys to keep moving forward. So I've been into business for as long as I can remember. My dad is a businessman so I've seen him do all of these transactions and pursue all these different paths and I have wanted to do that for ages. In grade 12 I decided to do my first business adventure and it was... I don't even remember the nooks and crannies of where this was going but it was something along the lines of I would do free photography for upcoming models to increase their portfolio and once it was increased then I would do some paid work and I would increase my portfolio for photography um, <laughs> can't recall it but I put like no effort into that because I was in year 12 I was studying really hard to get into medicine and that got nowhere I mean I did like obviously research a lot and I was really good at photo really good <laughs> at photography back then and I mean it could have gone somewhere but it didn't so next one is the one that you're all going to be familiar with is AXA collection so this is still my little baby like I'm so in love with this idea and it's something that I do want to pursue down the track like perhaps after I've graduated as a doctor it is a clothing line I'm so passionate about fashion and expressing yourself with the things that you wear and being true to who you are and being free from judgment because I know so many people including myself have been cautious about what I've worn because I'm so scared about what other people are going to think and the fundamentals behind that was I really wanted to create a line for organizations that I was really passionate about and the two things were homelessness and domestic violence but it's just not the right time to do it because I had tried for two years two years to get the trademark approved for AXA collection. I had my logo ready, it was perfect. I got that approved, paid $2.50 for the logo and then AXA collection, the name got rejected. I filed two adverse trademark reports, changed my name to AXA collection. That got rejected and by that point I just realized sometimes you've just got to close a chapter and move on and that's what I decided to do. You can find a lot more about this. If you go back to my previous videos, you see a lot about my clothing line. I learned a lot of lessons from that. Send me a DM on Instagram if that is something that you want to see. And I will definitely post a video about the things I learned from my failed clothing line. And one of the biggest things was recognizing who your true friends are. Because I have copped so much bickering behind my back ever since I decided to start a clothing line. It is insane. People who I thought were really, really close to me and really had my back. At the end of the day, I'm very thankful that I went through that process because it did allow me to filter through my friends and now I'm very happy I have such an incredible network around me who support me and love me, so thank you so much. Next one is e-commerce and dropshipping. This one is like a half fail half success because I haven't finished with it it's something that I still do on the side so I did a full course on e-commerce and Shopify and how to adequately market with Facebook and Instagram ads and gaining traffic to your website creating a website all of that jazz and creating the store involves spending days finding a product creating all of your ads only for your ads to get approved creating multiple campaigns if that succeeds, creating CBOs, doing retargeting, creating a video ad, there's so much that goes into every store. And I've created to date around six stores. Most of them failed. Um, some had one or two orders. One went pretty well, which I'll create another video about. Yes, I spent a bit too much money and closed the store a bit too late. But it was my first store that actually hit off and I got around 15 sales from that. So I just really wanted to learn like everything that I could with it. 
And then the whole pandemic hit and I decided not to do dropshipping for a while because one, people were losing money, they were losing their jobs and there's no way people are going to buy things online. And secondly, I would have been very cautious of inviting parcels outside into my home uh, and I'm sure other people would have too so that was another reason why I chose not to continue dropshipping. But the pandemic, thank God, is easing restrictions are easing and so i'm starting dropshipping again and the thing with this is that i've signed up to a course which basically guarantees your results they've spent years finding the perfect methods perfect techniques the exact algorithms to get success the thing is you just have to keep getting up after your store fails it's not about the first store it's not about the third store it's not about the fifth store it's about the 10th 11th and 12th store because what happens is you've practiced making all of these wonderful stores, you've learned all of these little tips and tricks along the way, and just when you're about to give up on the 10th store, the 11th store is what would have been successful. And that's exactly what happened to the founder of the course. His 11th store hit up, became like six-figure revenue just by that one store, um, and that's still like being scaled to this day. Right now I'm 21. I made the conscious decision that... In my teens, in my 20s, I'm going to try so many different business avenues because I know they're going to fail. Um, there's a statistic, it's between 80 to 90% of businesses fail within the first five years of starting up. I knew that my businesses would be one of those on multiple occasions and I would rather fail my business right now than be 35 years old investing tens of hundreds of thousands of dollars into a business and it fail then. I would rather learn all the legalities, the fundamentals, the entire package of what being a business owner is right now at this age. Fail so many times, fail publicly, show you guys how badly I'm failing, but get to 30, get to perhaps 27 and be successful and be that person that was trying for the past 10 years to get something off the road and finally do it and finally have that passive income, finally have that security in my back pocket. That's what I strive for. And that's where I can go into my next topic. That is real estate. So it's been something that I've been passionate about for ages. I see my dad and my mum talk about property all the time. I decided I want to pursue it. It's literally just as easy as doing a course Applying for your certificate, you can sell houses. I've always been into property. I, I could always envision myself like selling houses, being that middle person between the seller and the buyer, doing the open house inspections, just being so entrepreneurial every day, trying to chase new business leads, trying to chase new sellers, finding prospective properties. It's just something that I could completely envision myself doing. I actually today just completed my first interview for a real estate position. Fingers crossed for me. Hopefully it does well. By the time I upload this, I'll actually have known whether I got the position or not, which is crazy. <laughs> I feel like so many people around me think that, oh my God, Dania has no idea what she's doing. She's pursuing a clothing line. She's pursuing drop shipping. She's pursuing real estate now. Like she has a head in the clouds. You know what? I probably do. But the thing is, I know that no matter what I pursue, one, I'm passionate about it in one way or another. And two, I will try my hardest to succeed in it. And three, if I don't, I'll succeed another way. And that's something that I love about myself. And that's something that I want to pass on to you guys, no matter who is talking about you. No matter what they are saying, no matter how many times you've failed, no matter how many different avenues you have pursued, keep going. Because like I said with the dropshipping, you could be on your 10th store, decide to give up, and the 11th store brings you six digits. I will stand by that, and I'm so, so, so excited to pursue real estate, because i just going to like my friends and be like, you want to you wanna sell your house? <laughs> so yeah. I will actually sell one of your houses one day, mark my words, and I will come back to this video. Today is June 10th, 2020, and I will bring a person into my video who watched this video right now, and I will show you guys that I sold the house. 
because that's the attitude that I need to have to succeed. <laughs> I hope this provided you with a little bit of insight about my journey, my ups and downs, mostly downs, where I'm headed and what I'm doing. And if you have failed for the first time or the fifth time, know that it's not the end of the world. It's about what you do with that failure, what you learn from that failure and what you do moving forward. And that is all I have for this video. If you guys liked it, give it a big thumbs up. If you want to see more about real estate, business, my dropshipping, marketing, make sure to give my channel a subscribe. It is my little face in the circle. You can click it and subscribe. And I will see you guys in my next video. Have a good one.